This is a Windows Phone 7 game review of Asphalt 7 Heat, which is available in the marketplace for only 99 cents, and is an Xbox Live game title, and it's made for Windows 8, so it actually responds when you open it, it resumes instantly. Windows Phone 8, of course, not Windows 8. So, it's a typical racing game, and if you're a fan of racing games, you'll, you might find the game to be way too easy at first. The beginning levels, I got first place on them without really even trying at all, so it really wasn't that exciting. But once you get to these later levels here, like Cup 6, you start to have to actually work at it, and it gets a little more interesting. Though, I never even bought any of the upgraded cars and was able to beat almost all the races in first place. So, really, it's not too skillful of a game, but it's still pretty fun. And you're going to get over four hours of gameplay from it. The first sets of levels, they go by a lot faster because there's far fewer levels in them. But then it gets going and there's a lot more levels in the packs. The visuals look really great and the cars even have reflections on them here as you can see. You got the reflections of the city and you'll see all those reflections on the cars. So it's actually pretty realistic in terms of the visuals there. The handling of the cars, it's acceptable and you use the motion controls and then you have the boost system and if you go to this like hyper boost mode you can just smash through whatever you want. You have drifting just by uh, hitting the brake while you're going into a turn it'll throw the car into a little drift there and you can actually collect um, boost by drifting so it gives you good incentive to try to drift in order to gain more boost because if you don't use boost you're probably never going to win these races it's all about collecting the boost and using it at the right time you can even chain it together and collect more boost as you're going and get really long strains of boosts you also get boost for passing cars closely and some other things like if you take down an enemy burnout style then you'll get some extra boost or if you hit road signs you'll get extra boost too so you can actually take down people Oops! you can also crash like that too and then you just respawn there and the level variety is really great they got a bunch of different scenes they have like Tokyo they have New York so a good variety there and it stays really exciting and as you play there's different goals like sometimes you have to drift a certain amount so you can keep on playing and those goals give you good incentive to keep on playing and sometimes you have to get enough takedowns in order to unlock a goal and then there's also a cash system where you can upgrade your vehicles so you can buy new vehicles or buy upgrades for vehicles like um, you can increase the top speed on vehicles, you can increase the handling, and each vehicle does handle uniquely. If you get into a Chevrolet um, Camaro, it doesn't handle that well, which is realistic because that car is not made for handling. So you have your car selection here, and there's different tiers of cars, like 6 and 7 the best types of cars. And you can go through them, and you can choose to rent a car, or if you have enough stars you can buy them and typically cars just use cash like this one you can buy it with cash and you collect cash by winning the races and also by collecting the cash in the races or you can always just rent a car and then you can also perform upgrades on a car that you own like this one I could increase the top speed so acceleration you got um, nitro and handling of course and armor so good variety there and the variety of races is also really great too they have the typical normal race here and in some of the other levels if we go to these so they have normal races they have um, elimination races where you have to always not be the last person because the last person is eliminated um, they have knockdown races where you have to take out your enemies a certain number of times. And the coolest is paint job, where you just have to race against the clock, but you get points off for 
touching the sidewalls or crashing. So it actually encourages you to actually drive really well. And <clears throat> that's the most fun mode that I've found. Welcome to Paris. So here's another one of the tracks and another one of the cars. And you typically want to get your boost going right at the beginning there. If you time it just right, it seems like you get a little extra boost. And there's the cash you can collect in the games. And you want to try to skid around those curves to collect as much boost as possible. And as you can see, I hit the wall, so I got a uh, time reduction there, which is bad. Let's get around that corner and get the boost going. Oops, in drift. But that mode actually encourages you to drive well, so that's a good change, because otherwise you can hit the sidewall as much as you want, and it doesn't make a difference. So this makes it more challenging and more exciting. Especially these little narrow parts, those can be really tough to not hit the wall. So it makes the game a lot more enjoyable. And then sometimes like this corner you actually do have to slow down for it, but usually you just can drift through any corner and you'll be perfectly fine. So it's mostly just an arcade style game, not very realistic at all, but it's still very fun to play. And once you get to those later levels, like I said, it actually becomes more challenging. In the beginning, you'll probably be very bored, but you can collect a lot of money, like I have $2 million, and then you'll have plenty of money to spend on whatever you want, so. Overall, for 99 cents, I'd say that this game is a great deal. The visuals are good, lasting value is great, and the gameplay is pretty fun. So, if you're a fan of racing, you might not like it if you like simulation racing, of course, but if you just want to have some fun with some arcade racing, you'll probably find that Asphalt 7 Heat is a great game to download.